And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there, Dexter, New Blood, episode seven. All right. Now, okay, I, I, I always compliment the show about how it really does pick up, but this one did kind of slow down for a moment uh, because I guess they just throw out too much information. So much was going on. So much stuff has be, is being pushed through that it's slowing down. So what? Dexter broke an athlete's arm. Uh, the, the serial killer was taken to jail and got out of jail. Uh, Dexter... Dexter's still trying to find his way with uh, Harrison, still trying to figure out what to do with the serial killer, still trying to figure out how to get back together with the girlfriend. He, he's really got a lot of things to figure out. Everyone else just has one simple objective and here Dexter is trying to uh, juggle everything. So yeah, it, it's very uh, aggravating to see, uh, to see the serial killer basically tell one story and get away with it. You, you, uh, it it's always, it's always, aggravating to see something which literally shows the flaws like in our system i mean law-abiding citizen am i right the whole the whole <laughs> fact is just like oh my gosh he literally just tells a story which negates every ev piece of evidence they have found because the evidence wasn't completely conclusive it's all about the stories you tell it's never been about the facts it's always been about the stories you tell and it's aggravating so <laughs> I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It does seem like it slowed down because it was about Harrison and Dexter finally coming to find commonality. Finally coming to the, the point where, oh my gosh, they both had the same origin story. They both remember their mothers. They both, so I, I did actually enjoy that. It was more about finding that ground as Dexter's really trying to find all the little bits and pieces left behind of his first murder in this series because apparently titanium doesn't burn. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would burn. It probably, at a certain temperature, it needs to burn. And apparently it was in Matt's leg. And so there are several screws that the father is hiding somewhere. He gave one to Dexter as a sign of, I know it was you. Which honestly, that makes no sense. It's like, why not? Why doesn't Dexter just spin a story? Why doesn't he make something up? It's all about the stories you tell. So obviously, the elder serial killer, just like the Trinity killer, is the more experienced one. And of course, he's gonna make mistakes and the fact that he's rusty. But uh, I'm enjoying it, even though it was a slower episode than most, and seeing Harrison kind of get on the defensive anytime anyone asks him questions or sees him as a monster, like he was trying to talk with the, 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 the Angela's daughter. And she was disgusted by the fact that he broke the athlete's arm. And he basically backed off because he didn't want to be with someone who viewed him as a monster. He wanted to, even though he prior, uh, he told her prior that he was. So it's one of those things agreeing with it and different when you actually see it. I think that's the case. So she was like, she actually saw it come out. The fact that he's mad at the world than him just saying he's mad at the world. <sighs> yeah, I, 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 slower episode, but still uh, definitely definitely had a, a cliffhanger at the very end. It's just like, what the heck? Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.